Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. We're out here on our vegetable garden this morning. It's a beautiful morning. I can hear the cicadas behind me. Uh, and uh, what I thought we would do today is my, my daughter had a friend and she was asking uh, how I cooked my Swiss chard. You know, I talk about Swiss chard in some of the other videos, how we love our Swiss chard here. You know, it's nice and tender when you cook it and it, it melts in your mouth, you could say. And so what I thought we would do is... We're, we're going to pick some Swiss chard, and then we're going to go into the kitchen, and uh, I'll show you how I cook up my Swiss chard. And so behind me, we'll walk over and uh, pick some Swiss chard from one plant, and then we'll walk to another section and uh, get some more Swiss chard. I, I typically pick about 10 stalks. And so uh, let's follow me over here, and uh, there's a couple of plants I have here. And, the, you know, the Swiss chard are pick and come again, so you just want to pick a few from the outer outer plant. Uh, always leave in the center plant there, so, it, you know, it'll continue to grow throughout the season. So, I'm just going to pick a few around the plant here. There's two. I always get to try to pick the bigger stalks, allowing the smaller ones to, to grow. more from here. I see there's been a few bugs that have eaten these leaves, but nevertheless it's not going to hurt the hurt the plant. You can see a few holes there, but that's okay. This is organic, so you're always going to have a little pests here and there uh, that are going to bother the, bother the plants. But, uh, you know, the, what's interesting is the uh, cabbage moth, the, the looper worm, they don't, it doesn't, they don't uh, go after the Swiss chard, so that's always, always nice. I think we're up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's grab, uh, let's grab this one down here that's, that's uh, falling over. And so let's, uh, it's like a nice bouquet of green. So let's, let's head back this way and uh, go to the other section right down below, get a few more. I have some right down below me here in the corner. Again, always picking from the outer leaves. And again, in these plants, only cost me like a dollar in seeds to last me for the whole season. And so, again, just the money savings, amazing, and the, how nutritious they are, full of plant nutrients. You know, of course, that you always hear about phytonutrients. Well, phyto means plant, and so these contain plant nutrients. A lot of fiber, calcium, protein. So I think we have enough leaves. We probably have 10 or more. And uh, we're going to uh, go inside and uh, cook these up. And so we'll meet you there in a little while. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. Uh, this is Farmer Fred. Uh, maybe you don't recognize me. I don't have my hat on, you know. And so I thought in here would be a good idea not to wear it. I hope there's not too much glare here. I, I always tell people I like keeping my hair this way because it's kind of like having vinyl siding, you know, it's, it's maintenance free. And it's, in fact, I remember my wife saying, well, you don't have much hair to begin with, you might as well shave it all off. And so, anyhow, I, I just have to buzz over it once a week and uh, I'm done. And so I kind of like that idea. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to use my electric cooker here. It's a Farberware that I, uh, I like. Uh, it's 12 by 16. Because as you can see, I got like... These end up being 12 leaves, and so they're, they're really big leaves, but, you know, they cook down. And so, and, uh, you know, the Swiss chard, again, is in the spinach family, so we all know how healthy spinach is. And so, you know, the nice thing about Swiss chard is they go right through the season, summer season where spinach bolts in the early spring. And so, but I also have this other cook in a frying pan with a lid on it. I mean, you could, if that's all you have, you could certainly use this. I'm just going to put this back here out of the way. But being I use such a big pile of greens, uh, I like using my cooker. Plus, I use uh, when I stuff my peppers. I uh, put my stuffed peppers in here, and it holds about 12 peppers, and it's nice and deep. It's about three inches, and so that's getting a little bit hot. So I do want to pour some water in here ahead of time for my greens, so they steam up. Let me get another cup here. So she's sizzling real nice. It takes about 12 to 15 minutes to do the steam, the greens. And so, 
I'm going to mostly cut off the stalks because there's still a lot of stalks on here. And really this is quite simple. Now even all these stalks you could cut in quarter inch slivers and then uh, steam them separately if you want. Uh, you could also cut off, off each stalk from each plant if you want to do that and just cook the greens separately. But uh, I just, you know, like to try to keep things simple uh, as possible. And so I'm just going to rough cut, I'm just going to rough cut these up. About a half inch apart. Kind of holding the bundle together nice with your hand. He's a nice big, probably a 12 inch knife, so it cross cuts the pile real nice. And I actually could come across the pile too, if you really, that way it gives you a nice, breaks it down nice once you cook it. So I think that's enough. So let me remove the head here. Let me get this out of here. I like this little scooper, it works out nice. It's just scooping all the veggies. I'm just going to set them in there. Now it's interesting when you cook the Swiss chard, uh, it's got a kind of an earthy smell to it too, which is interesting. In fact, uh, you know, let me know if you have any ideas on how you cook Swiss chard. Uh, always, I always enjoy learning from other people because I in fact, someone told me one time, he says, a uh, person that thinks he knows it all has a lot to learn, you know, and so it's good to always keep an open mind and question everything we hear, you know, especially in the nutrition realm, there's a lot of misinformation and myths out there, false information that lead us away from what a really healthy lifestyle is. And, you know, here at our house, we uh, follow a whole food, plant-based lifestyle, and I know for me, the, the results have just been, been amazing in my, my health. Uh, I'm 60 years old and I have no medication and everything, and that's all because of a plant-based diet allowing our bodies to heal themselves. Moving away from the meat and the dairy and the cheeses and the oils and you'll experience amazing results. So anyhow, uh, uh, the, I'm going to put the lid on here, give it about 12 minutes. I do have some red New Orleans potatoes we got from the garden that we'll, uh, I'm going to heat up when I come back and uh, we'll have that. Uh, I think Hallie and I will have this for lunch today. And so it's been fun in the kitchen here, and uh, we'll see you back in a little while. Okay, well, we're back. Uh, I think the Swiss George finished cooking. Uh, took about 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, it depends on how many stalks you have in there. And so uh, what I want to, want to do, uh, take the lid off here, but even before I do that, I'm just going to get, I have some potatoes in the microwave here. I'll take out of this. Uh, these are the red Norland potatoes that we got from our garden, the or organic ones, and so uh, we just really love our potatoes here. That's uh, potatoes or rice again, are the or the starch that we, uh, the energy that we get from them that we, sustains us during the day in our in our lifetime. So generally, what I do is I, I use my longer uh, spatula and uh, I just lift, lift these up out of here, and I'm just going to set them on this plate to let them start draining a little bit, some of the water out. And also, you know, I wanted to test, this, taste one of these stalks. Mm. Perfect. Kind of like celery. Mm. Tastes so good. And no, there's no, no flavor on that either, no flavor. Actually, maybe I can yeah, just use them both there. So you can see how they cook down. That was again 12 big leaves. So just think about all the nu how nutrient dense that is. It's, it's like a bomb of nutrition going off inside us when we eat those. So what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to press down on that a little bit. Get some of the moisture out. And kind of like make a patty out of that. And then I'm going to just pick it up and set it over the potatoes just like that. I guess we're going to split this one, aren't we? I probably should have used a bigger plate, but you didn't even finish your last plate I gave you. I think I piled it on so high, so let's just put another one on here. And I'll save enough for a side dish 
put that in a bowl for later on. Um, and sometimes I use liquid amino. I use that uh, add a little bit of flavoring. Actually what I do is I buy one bottle of this and I water it down, make two bottles out of one because it's so concentrated. And so you you know you get two bottles out of for the price of one. Uh, and so I'll maybe put a little bit of that on. Actually I have a little bit of uh, my crystal light hot sauce I use. That's another one of my favorites. It's not real hot like the Siraki, although I know we all have our uh, flavor preferences, but this crystal hot sauce is just right. Now why is that going off over here? I guess that was the, the timer from the uh, from the greens. So anyhow you can see how cooked down it's over potatoes. It's uh, going to be a very healthy meal for us. Uh, low calorie, but you know full of nutrients uh, and uh, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Got to make sure the cooker's turned off. And uh, it's been fun in the kitchen with you today. Uh, hope maybe you've learned something. It's always nice to be able to help help out uh, and uh, teach others. Um, and so uh, I hope you have a wonderful and glorious day. This is uh, Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.